Mayday, 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 helicopter 223 Mike off, just approximately three miles south of Canyon Lake. I uh, got a possible engine failure, two souls on board. All right, how do you hear? Uh, I got you just fine, at me. Fine, quick. This flight was definitely one of the more interesting IFR lessons. Before we went and shot some approaches, we planned on going out and simulating a bunch of different emergency situations you can encounter under the hood as if we had an emergency while inside the clouds. While this helicopter cannot legally fly in the clouds, it stresses the importance of knowing information such as the base of the cloud level where you're at in the event that you do have an emergency while flying an aircraft that is capable of IMC flight. Okay, uh, go ahead and close your eyes. All right, eyes are closed. Eyes are closed. I have all three. I have all three controls. I just want you to stay with me. Okay. okay, open your eyes. You have all three. Bank, pitch, power. Outstanding. You are in the clouds right now. The, the ceiling ends 500 feet below you. So at, let's say, 2,000. Okay. okay. Your main rotor chip and your... Uh, main rotor temperature light just illuminated. What are you going to do? I'm going to lower the collective. Absolutely. Level attitude. Okay. Very good. We're going to descend down to 2,000. Okay. Get yourself set up into the wind. Okay. It's going to be... Okay. <clears throat> I would also squawk <clears throat> 7... What? 70, 700. 7700. Zero, zero. Very good. Okay, so there's 2,000. And you would contact 121.5, say I'm in the clouds. Okay, you have popped out. Now, what are you going to continue to do? Okay, so I'm looking for a landing area. Where would I'm, you land? Uh, probably that uh, field right there. Perfect, that's Auto all I wanted to see. Okay, climb back up to 2,500. One big thing I noticed is you let, went below 60 okay. once. Uh, I would like you to uh, switch over to 121.5. That's why I always have it okay. in here, right? So I'm going to switch you over 1215. Uh, usually with the dual comps, you always have that in. Sure. Right? Um, and they say emergency frequency helicopter 223 Mike Golf just about seven miles to the uh, west of New Braunfels having a main rotor to, uh, chip light coming on, uh, landing in a field out of VF, uh, out of IFR into VFR, uh, and that's it. Then they'll contact you. They'll say, you know, uh, squawk 7700. Um, and you'll go down and you'll land appropriately. That's okay. if you know for a fact that the cloud base is right there. Like, I would only do that if I just went into the clouds and then had it. If I was flying around, I would continue on because I know most likely that um, it is uh, not a main rotor chip situation where there's actually a large chip in it. It's very rare. Uh, but I would head direct to New Braunfels at that point. Okay, the ceiling at Randolph is 4,600. Very good. So, so you could do a quick check. Yeah, absolutely. See what the ceilings are at. Yep. Right. I would trust that. I would just not go down, you know, within 500 feet sure. of the ground. I would go down and check and see if I pop out. Okay, your oil light comes on and you're starting to get some serious roughness in the engine. Okay. Engine so, failure, engine, engine failure. failure, engine failure. Good work. Start flying into the uh, wind to okay. this, uh, where your heading bug is. Good. Watch your forward airspeed. I have everything outside. You're good. Okay. Manage those RPMs. Get a little bit more forward airspeed, please. Okay. Lower collective. Outstanding. Okay, Ian, you have popped out of the clouds. Go ahead and roll throttle back on. Very good. Let's see here. Do a uh, climbing left-hand turn that is standard rate to 330. 330. Okay. And what altitude? Uh, 1,500. 1,500. That airspeed. Okay. Remember, right yep. there, that, that line yeah. up there, standard rate. Watch your manifold pressure. Okay. Good work. Very good. Look at that. Right on. Right on. So now, I would like you to do a standard rate turn. Right turn to uh, 060. 060 to the right? Yes, sir. Okay. Just nice, standard. Don't just 
descent, don't speed up, just continue that right turn to 060. Notice how you're staying level, because you know you're level because your airspeed is the same. You know that your altitude isn't changing by your VSI staying the same, your altimeter is staying the same at 2,500, okay. and you're gradually turning. You could also time it if you need. Okay. Perfect. Notice how you were right on it. Very good. Six, All right. Where is the wind at again? It is almost directly behind us. Okay, you have a uh, clutch light. Come on. Okay. All right, so count to 10 okay. seconds. Okay, the clutch light's still right, on. So we'll pull that uh, red circuit breaker. Okay, I pull it. Okay, and uh, what I would have been looking for right there is okay. that you started turning into the wind while you were counting. Okay. Okay? Set yourself up for success. Okay. All right, so start that turn. Okay. Get yourself to auto rotative speeds, please. All right. You are still in the clouds. Okay. <clears throat> you start to feel some uh, unnecessary vibrations and noises. All right, so I'm going to lower that collective. Okay, get yourself set up into a land immediately situation. Okay. Very good. All right, so I don't want to I'll tell you when much. you have popped out of the clouds. Okay. All right, Keep so I'm almost straight into the wind now. Very good. The level. Keep it. Keep that descent rate. Yeah, I would uh, lower that collective even more. Okay, about a thousand there, feet. There we go. Watch those RPMs. Make sure that those rotor RPMs stay where you want them. Okay. The 70 knots. RPMs are good. Level attitude. Good descent rate at a thousand foot per minute. You're still in the clouds. You're into the wind. Everything is working in your favor right now. You're starting to get some serious vibrations. That's fine. We're ready for an auto rotation at any moment. Okay, Ian, you have popped out of the clouds. Yeah, I'm out of the clouds. I would okay, like you to do a land immediately situation in okay. that field. Keep that 65. Okay. I want it. I want 65, at least over 60. Okay. Okay, everything's clear. This is for if the engine failed now, we would still be able to flare. Okay. Hold it, air taxi quick stop, and fly away. We would have done the full air taxi quick stop, but I didn't realize that house was there behind okay. those trees. Oh, I don't cool. think they, the residents would have minded. Lives there. <laughs> There's no roof on that house. The squirrels wouldn't have, wouldn't have minded. Do a right hand turn uh, to 360, please. 360. And you're back in the clouds. Back in the clouds. And it looks like your alternator light came back on. All right, so I'm not going to try to switch it again. I'm okay. going to do that once. Okay, would you uh, shut off any uh, equipment right now? Uh, right now I'm in the clouds. I kind of need to... Yeah, need absolutely. To it's so. every, Everything is essential, right? Yeah, there, right. Are, there is no non-essential equipment at this point. You are in the clouds, right? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna autopilot's autopilot. on. Autopilot's on. I would like you to set up an approach to the nearest airport. What altitude do you want me at? Now? All right, uh, let's get up to 3,000. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're not going to do it quite yet. Okay. I just want you to do an auto. Uh, and uh, so let's go ahead and do uh, a big turn to our left here, about 180 degrees. Get yourself set up into the wind, and okay. then we'll enter. Uh, I'll just have you enter it, and I want you to do a good mayday call. All right. Airspeed looks good. Level attitude. All right. Entering auto. Three, two, one. Lower collective right pedal. Roll off throttle. Check up for RPMs. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Helicopter 223 Mike off. Just approximately three miles south of Canyon Lake. I uh, got a possible engine failure. Two souls on board. Mayday, 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 mayday. 223 Mike Golf, currently four to five miles southwest of Canyon Lake. Just popping out of the clouds, landing in a field next to a water tower. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Okay, roll throttle back on. Rolling throttle back on. And outstanding. Okay, uh, now your alternator light situation is back into play, and I would like you to uh, uh, go back up and direct Shep and do your whole instrument approach into RNAV 17. New Brown Fools. It's not our day today. Uh, it's not. But. All right, we have all three of our Brown Fools. Are we, uh, are we autoing in from 2500 or? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't want to just hang out. 
Um, yeah, go set up with the road and uh, let's do a high altitude auto into the field. You were traffic helicopter 223 Mike, all four miles to the northwest at 2200. Going to be uh, inbound for 16 Super. Three, two, one, or collective right pedal, roll off throttle, check up. Oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to overshoot big time. Uh, we're definitely going to overshoot. That's all right. In this case, we can back it off, right? Okay. If we know, that, raise it. Okay. Bam, cycling. A little more collective. There we go. Back it off a little bit more. Now dump forward. Lower collective. Go get that forward airspeed back. Forward. Oh, start to flare. Flare, 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 roll throttle on. Yeah, buddy. Right on cue. Clear left. Clear right. Nice.